Hi, how are you? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we won in Arathi Basin. And today we're going to continue our quest chain with Sage Mistwalker. In the Warg's clothing. From my dreams, I know that Ulfang is in a cave on the snowy northwestern edge of Rivenwood. He is in great danger. I have devised a magical disguise that will make you appear as a warg while you are within Rivenwood. The disguise is weak, relying upon the strange magics of that haunted wood. While it will only convince the wargs, it will all allow you to get close to Ulfang. Please, mage, find and help him. Be careful. Alright, so let's go find Ulfang, guys. We gotta get our fly mount going here. We'll get a little buffed up. And we're off. Let's see what he gave us. There it is. The Ward Disguise. This is a fun question. Kind of shows the lengths. At which, uh... Actually, I don't want to ruin it, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. It's a good question. I like it. Hope you guys are doing well today. I'm doing pretty good myself. There we go. We got our warg disguise. That should allow us to get by. Looks like he is being... Looked at by this Fangor warg for some reason. Well, Fang howls and sniffs at you, and you can understand what he says. The strange white warg of the north, Garwell, has taken my pack from me. We must rip out his throat so that I will be the alpha warg once again. You look and smell different. You are not one of my pack. Tell me your story. I have nothing but time while I am trapped in here. Alright, so it looks like he's being held here against his will. Miss Walker is from my dreams. If you are his friend, you are mine. I was alpha male until the last full moon. Then the strange white war Garwell came from the north and with the help of my once brothers, he quickly became alpha. There is something unnatural about him. To help, you must kill kill who, those who betrayed me. Bijo Mulf hunts to the northwest of a place the two legs call Steel Gate and look for Varg to the southeast near the West Spear Tower. They will not be fooled by your form. Alright, so let's go slay his brothers so he can be the Alpha Warg once again. Looks like we have to go south. And yeah, I recently finished uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I think I mentioned that last episode. Pretty good game. But now I'm thinking about another Let's Play to play. Not too sure what we'll do. Got a couple of World of Warcraft ones now with the mage. And... The Road to the Lich King. So I think we're good on with World of Warcraft. I'll probably check out a new game. Or maybe a game that I've played in the past. We'll see. There should be a new series coming up soon. And there he is, Bijo Milf. <laughs> Such an interesting name. For a wolf. I don't even know, like, how you would, would pronounce that. You know, B Bijo Milf. I guess that's what it is. Oh, there's one down. One more to go.
I think after this quest chain, we'll most likely make our way over here to this camp. For a bunch of, uh, forsaken our... I think we just fly across here. I wonder if our water ellie will pull a bunch of these dwarves. It's always interesting, like, seeing how he makes his way up there. I think we might have lost him, though. I would be surprised if he shows up. Pretty sure if we fly too far away, he will, yeah, just disappear like that. That's okay. All right, time to deal with the bar. Looks like we got another one here. We'll group these two up. Maybe we'll get a bunch of them here. Wonder how we'll do. Let's see how our blizzard works against these guys. I think it does a lot of damage. Should be fine. Yeah, this would be a pretty good spot, actually, for AoE farming. A lot of melee... Melee mobs. You can pull the shovel tusk foragers and all the wolves as well. I am looking for a spot to do a little bit of AoE farming. Alright, so let's get some food. There we go. And I did take a break from Road of the Lich King for a couple of days. Just wanted to focus a little bit more on finishing Hogwarts Legacy. But we will get that playthrough going again. We're, there isn't really any rush at the moment. Kind of waiting for Phase 3 for our character to really see a power spike. That's going to be the phase where we get ready to, you know, slay the Lich King. Right now we're just trying to get our, I think our professions up, also our reputations, so we can unlock, you know, some good enchants for our gear. And also farm a little bit of honor. It'd be nice to get a nice, you know, PvP set for the, the Boomkin. I wonder if they have any dungeons going on today. There's always one. It's like me and another. <laughs> Every time there's two of us. Who knows? Maybe a couple more people will log in. the cave once again. Maybe we can just sneak in. This would actually be a great AoE form right here. Could have thought of this earlier. There we go. We can get our water Ellie back after this. Probably just our big explosion and the rest down. And it's good we're getting a lot of warg meat. We can actually use that, I believe, for this roasted warg recipe. So that should get our cooking up. All right, so we're back. We got to take our uh, our warg disguise form here. Brother betrayers. 
The smell of their blood upon your muzzle pleases me. Brothers should not turn on each other. Garwell hides himself behind an unnatural magic. None can see him unless he wants you to. There may be one chance we can take, though. My enemy, the Great Eagle, Talonshrike, is said to have eyes that can see anything. If you were to take her eyes, then you would surely be able to see Garwell. Talonshrike keeps her nest at the base of the waterfall just to the southwest of the Vicarol place called Scorn. If you touch the eggs in her nest, she will come down from the sky to kill you. Get her eggs. All right, here we go. We got to fight an eagle. And this will allow us to see. See the enemy. And there he is, Glacian. Maybe one day we'll do the quest and take him down. Until we get a couple of levels. Or this is like a mist. Yeah, in the Diablo 4 open beta weekend has been completed. It seems like Diablo is probably not going to try to compete with a Path of Exile as being, you know, the, the more complicated, I guess, hardcore ARPG. People thought that they were going to try, but it seems like they're going to stick with you know, being the most accessible ARPG in the market. I think that's a good idea. Because that's what Blizzard's good at. They did the same thing with World of Warcraft. It didn't work. Because back when World of Warcraft came out, there was a lot of uh, other MMOs that were out. Like Ultima Online and EverQuest. Also another game called Tibia that I enjoyed. And um, they were much more hardcore MMOs than World of Warcraft. Many MMOs back in those times had death penalties. So if you die, you'd lose experience or you'd lo you would lose something. And World of Warcraft kind of... It was a little bit more casual like when you died like yeah you did lose durability on your gear but it wasn't it wasn't anything that would you know hinder your character by by too much i think diablo is going to be the same thing and they they do that with every game like heroes of the storm you know by far the most casual friendly um or accessible MOBA that you could play. I really liked Heroes of the Storm. Another reason why it was so great too is like the games would only be like 15 to 30 minutes tops. Well, you know, like League of Legends games can usually surpass 30 minutes and Dota games can sometimes be over an hour. Also, Heroes of the Storm didn't have any items. You didn't have to buy any items or be focused on anything like that. You just had to, you know, play your character, level up your abilities. 
everyone had the same XP on your team. It's more, it's more of a team game. Well, it's more t team focused than, uh, I'd say, League of Legends or Dota. But both are team games. All of them are team games. But you can be more of an individual in Dota and uh, in League of Legends. Like, you can carry your team on your back. Which is, which is a lot of fun. It's something that Heroes of the Storm didn't really have. I think that's why it didn't uh, become as successful as those two, those two games. Have, you have the eyes of the eagle. Wolfang howls loudly at your defeat of his great eagle enemy. The honor of the kill is yours. I wish that it had been my ma to finally close upon her neck. Let us not waste the sacrifice that she has made for us. Here, eat them. When you've eaten Talonstrike's eyes, you should be able to see Garwal and rip out his throat. Undead thing. Seek out and slay Garwal in the western Rivenwood. After you've killed him, go and tell Mistwalker that I am once more the Alpha Warg. Alright, so here we go. I think we're the Alpha Warg now, to be honest. We're doing all, <laughs> we're doing all the work here. But I guess we'll give it to Old Fang. Because why not? We've got other things we need to do. Alright, so we have the eyes of the eagle. We are able to see Garwal. Now we just have to find him. Is that him over there? Walks around this, this whole area. A lot of cobalt here. One good thing about being on a server that just isn't high pop, you can level up your professions pretty damn fast. Especially your professions that require farming, like mining and herbalism. Right, so I think we might have gone a little too far. I'm surprised we haven't been able to find him yet. He's a white warg, from what I remember. He patrols around this area. Just getting pretty damn unlucky here. I think casual is the wrong word for like Blizzard games. Like the stuff, there are p casual components to uh, many Blizzard games, but they also have a hardcore opponent component as well. I just say the game is. They like to make games that are accessible to everybody. And that's a really smart thing to do. I guess that's why, you know, they've done so well over the years. That's one thing in the WoW community I've always thought was in interesting. Nobody likes being called casual. <laughs> Nobody. I'm not, like, everybody tries to, to say their guild is not a casual guild or something like that. I don't know why. It's kind of weird. Instead of saying, like, 
Their casuals will say something like, we are semi-hardcore. <laughs> Just say you're casual. It's, it's, there's nothing wrong with that. But that's really what you'll see in, uh, when guilds are sending out their their advertisements to try, to try to find new members. They never say, like, yeah, we're casual. I rarely ever see that. You always see, like, we're semi-hardcore. Oh, there he is. Finally found him. Garwal! Okay, so let's get him down here. Enough of this charade. I'm a worgen. I always thought that was kind of cool. Now, I wonder if that worgen was working for the Lich King, or is he just maybe just a worgen who made his way up to Northrend? And decided to become, you know, the king of the works. There's also a lot of cool quests in uh, Vanilla WoW that explain how the worgen came to Azeroth. I like to do it whenever I'm leveling up a character in Vanilla. I believe it's a it's an alliance quest. And pretty much long story short, a night elf wanted to uh, stop the burning legion from, you know, invading Azeroth. So she got this uh, the staff, I forget the name of it, and she opened a portal to uh, to another world and allowed the worgen to uh, come in and they would listen they listened to her for a bit and then eventually they just you know started doing their own thing and became a little bit out of control so the night elves well, well a night elf brought you uh, don't have to go back to him okay So yeah, Night Elf brought the wargs, war again into the game. And then the portal could not be shut. And then they, uh... Started invading, like, parts of Azeroth. See, like, a bunch of worgen in, in different areas. Like, uh... Yeah, there's some... There's some in Ashenvale right up here. And then they have a decent amount of them here in uh, Duskwood, over in this area. Okay, yeah, so let's turn this quest in here. Greetings. Perhaps it was a mistake to travel so close to Rivenwood and Jalbron to get here. Walk with the Rabbi, Earth, mother. you have returned. What news of Ulfang? Carwell was sun not a warg at all. I know of these creatures. They are called Worgen, but Ulfang indicated that it came south from the Grizzly Hills. Odd. There aren't any Worgen there. I thank you for helping to restore Ulfang to his proper place amongst his pack. Now we both will be able to sleep peacefully. Please, you must accept this as a sign of gratitude. All right, so we'll take these legs. We lose a decent amount of crit, but we gain Armor, stamina, and intellect. So I think that's a, a worthy upgrade. 
And yeah, the, those are the trappers he's talking about. There's a bunch of trappers in Grizzly Hills that have been infected by the worgen, and now they, uh... Yeah, they're worgen now. And they became worgen, I believe, from, uh... People believe it's from... The boss from Shadowfan Keep. I forget his name. He's actually in, uh... He's been resummoned. Forgot his name. Here, we'll go to classic. It's the last boss in Shadowfang Keep. Yeah. Arugal. Yeah, there's a bunch of warg in there as well. I don't think Arugal. I don't know if he if he what he has to do with the worgen at all, but he does have a lot of worgen helping him. I have to look into that. I don't really I don't really know what he what his connection to the worgen are. But yeah, guys, that is going to be the end of today's episode. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.